all right so you're welcome to another episode of on Q. now on Q today we are going to be speaking to Ghanaian british drill and trap musician jb now you know that um jb or you may not know that jb is you know um ghanian british but yes we get to speak to him to have the conversation with him get to also know him better the name may sound familiar because he just recently collaborated with ghana's songbird jackie so let's get talking to jb hi jb hi what's up how are you i'm doing? okay very well thank you how are you I'm good, thank you. You're fine? Very good. Great. Thanks yeah. for joining us um, this morning. I really appreciate it, taking time off to speak to us this morning. First of all, let us know, in totality, who is JB? Uh, well, JB is a UK-born Ghanaian rapper. Uh, if you listen to my music, it's just um, music that I make about, you know, my real life, you know, interactions and et cetera. So, yeah. I think people should just tap into the music and yeah, they'll, they'll learn a bit more about me through that. Okay, and then JB, what does JB stand for? Oh, JB, um, <laughs> there's not really much like, a meaning behind it, but um, J is my first name and then the B stands for bands. It's not really a, a, big, a big meaning behind it, but yeah, it's quite simple. Okay, so first name, J, full name. Yeah, my full name, J, and then B stands for... No, so the name is actually J, just J, that's it? No, as in... No, 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 it's not just J, but I, it's, it's... Yeah, there's there's a name there, but... So it's J, and then B stands for bands. Okay, okay. So what exactly yeah. I was trying to understand was, you know, people have... It's probably Jason or John or Jermaine, you know, something. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to no, get. Yeah, yeah, but my name's Joshua then, yeah, yeah, my name's Joshua. Joshua. Ah, is there a yeah. reason you don't like to use Joshua? Because it took you a minute to actually say what the J stood for. No, because like, <laughs> that's the whole reason of having the, the JB in it. Mm -hmm. Not to use my actual name, but... Right, right. Okay, now, yeah. having started doing music at 16 years and then four years down the line, what are some of the things that have stood out to you on your journey? Um, Stood out to me on my journey? Um that, you know, the music game isn't as easy as people think. And um, mm. I guess if you work hard enough, you'll be able to, you know, appeal to the masses and be able to, you know, yeah, reach reach where you want to reach if you work as, you know, as hard as you're supposed to. So, yeah, that's that's really what I've learned, to be honest, on my way. Okay. Now, the industry. You, you've mentioned that the music game is not easy. You've been in it. You started really young. You've been in it four years and counting. So what is that thing or those things that have kept you going? Um, I'd probably say the people around me, like obviously my mom's my manager, so yeah, she keeps me going. And then obviously my family members and my friends keep pushing me mm. to keep going. And also like the fans and the love that I get from, you know, especially my people in general, like recently the love I've been getting from Guardians is crazy. So seeing that kind of support and love is just keep me, you know, okay. keep going and pushing. Okay. Now, mentioning the love and support you've been getting from Ghanaians, we'll touch on that later on during um, the conversation. But also, with your mum being your manager, how is that like? Now, I'm asking this because you know that sometimes in certain cases or situations, it's not every time that the mothers or even the parents support you in your crafts, especially in the entertainment industry. And being this young and making music the way you make it, how how is that like for for you? Um, it's it's not it's not really bad, but it's um it's a thing where like she has my best interest, so like it's it's kind of like a bonus having her on my side and my, on my team as well in it because as I said, she's got my best interest, so there's no one that's like here to stray me away from like doing what I'm supposed to do. Like she always keeps me on track and etc. So. I guess it's a, it's an advantage having a you know around that. So, okay, yeah. okay, the mother's instincts and yeah. the mother's responsibility yeah. as well. But yeah, talking about keeping you on track, right? Um, what will be your biggest dream come true in relation to your music? Biggest dream come true. That's a good question. Um, probably. Uh, 
probably a, a feature from Drake or something like that. That's, that's oh, that would, yeah, a tune, you? yeah, one of my favorite artists. So yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. A feature from Drake. We are just going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, one yeah, day, JB is going to get that Drake feature and then his dreams come true. But before that, let's look at, you know, your song creation or your song making process. You know, um, the steps you take to make songs. Because every artist, I understand, has their ways of making their own music. Yeah. Um, my ways, it's, it's not too complicated, but um, normally I just, you know, I sit in the studio um, I'd normally have like an idea of what I want to make. So if I have a sample or something, I give it to the producer, we make it and then, yeah, I just flow ideas and then, yeah, come up with the, the song that I feel like makes sense with the, with the beat. Okay. But yeah, it's not, it's not too, too complicated, yeah. Okay. Now, you have a song that made it to UK's top 100, 4 a.m. Yeah. For you. Now, yeah, yeah, share, for you. share with me how that feeling um, was like for you. And then from there, we'll look at some doors that, that opened for you. Um, it was crazy, in fact. Like, it was just like, at first it was a freestyle. So I just had a freestyle on Instagram and TikTok. And then it just blew up. And then people mm -hmm. said I should make it a song. So I made it into a song. And then, mm -hmm. like, I think three months down the line, that's when it ended up being in the top hundred. So yeah, it was it was crazy how it all came about. But yeah, open many doors. Like for example, this um feature with Jackie. Like mm -hmm. from there till now, right? It, you know, I can get there. So yeah. Okay. All right. Now mentioning the feature will bring me to the conversation I want us to have um about the song, right? Scar. First, tell us how that collaboration came about. How did you meet Jackie? How did you two decide to start making um, the Scar song? You know, the preparations that went into it. Because, I mean, in a few days of its release, that's the audio and video release, it's doing well. Even prior to the release, when the teaser came out, I mean, people jammed on it. It's a different sound in relation to, you know, the sound that we know Jackie does. I mean, for you, you're a trap and drill musician. And so, yeah, that is your field. But for Jackie's part, right? So just take us through, you know, the whole process of the creation of Scar. Um, that was pretty simple. Like literally, I was in Ghana in December. So mm -hmm. when I was there, um, her manager linked up with my manager, and then yeah, she just said she get something done. So then we went to um, her apartment, mm -hmm. and then literally, um, her producer Sosa, I think he had the beat made already. Oh, so she was okay. like flowing ideas on it. Um, then she dropped the chorus on it, and then she did like a little melody on the on the on the beat, of course. And then I just did my lyrics, and then. Yeah, she just added her chorus and then, yeah, it just came together like, just like that, to be honest. It wasn't too complicated, but yeah, great okay. check, great check. Now, how is, yeah. how is it like working with, um, with Jackie? Because I see a bond, you know, when I watch the video, I mean, I see a bond in relation to friendship or just, you know, some form of dedication when it comes to both of you with everybody understanding um, their assignments, if I should say. Yeah, no, she she's she's a good like she she's good vibes and um easy to work with. So yeah, I guess that's why you'd say there's you know um good chemistry kind of I guess. But yeah, she's good vibes in, in real like in real life. She's not like a this stuck up person you would think because mm. she's an artist or anything. But yeah, we're both quite humble, so I think that's what kind of connects us both. Okay, now in in the few days that you know, um, let's say in the past two or three weeks, you know, that's after the release of. The teaser when, you know, we all got to know that Jackie's coming out with a new song, Scar, we featured you. What's that traction that it has brought to you? So leading up from the teaser to the release of the audio and then to the release of the video. So let's just go through, you know, that extra attention. Because I believe strongly that even though some people in Ghana may have known you, um, the song will also, you know, draw a different set of people to you. Yeah, no, a lot, a lot of attention was drawn to me. Like as soon as she dropped the, um, the snippet, a lot of people were like, oh, who's this guy? Who's mm -hmm. this guy? So a lot of people were like searching for my social media and etc. So yeah, once I posted TikTok and everyone knew, oh, this is the guy that's on the track. Mm -hmm. I received lots of 
love. Like, if you look at the likes, the comments, like, it's crazy. So, yeah, received a lot of love from um, Ghanaians, especially, and I guess Africa in general, like Nigeria or South Africa, Gambia, like, different different places. So, mm. not just Ghana in general. Right. Yeah. Because then, I mean, from all of the places that you've mentioned, Jackie is also known in those um countries and communities as well so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it only makes sense it's only right now have you put thought to any other Ghanaian artists that you would love to collaborate with uh not on the top of my mind but yeah there's a few there's a few i'd, I'd love to work with I think. okay run me through the That's list then my... sorry run me through the list of the few um I'd probably say Black Sharif. Uh -huh. um, uh, who else? Who else? There's a few King Promise, like different different artists, like just to do different kind of, you know, different vibes and et cetera. But once I come out there, we'll see in it. So. Right. Yeah, we'll Fingers see. crossed for that. Yeah. Fingers crossed for that. Now, still on Ghanaian musicians, are there any Ghanaian musicians you, you look up to? Uh, I'd probably say... He's been doing it for a long time. I think probably like Sarkadi. sarkadi has been doing it for years. So someone like him, you know, I admire because he's been, you know, he's been pushing Ghana mm -hmm. for a long, a long amount of time. So yeah, someone like that. Okay, great. Now let's talk about identity, right? For you as Ghanaian British, do you in any way have to deal with identity where you don't know where you stand or where you fall, especially in relation to what you love to do? That's the music. No, I never, like, I always cherish where I'm from, like, whether it's London or it's Ghana. So, yeah, I never have, like, this identity crisis. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I always cherish where I'm from. I'm proud of where I'm from. So, yeah, it's never a problem for me. It's never a problem. That's great. That's amazing. So, JB, are you working on any new music? I mean, with the attention that Scar has brought to you, how are you looking to um, channel that as well? So that's two questions. Are you working on any new music and then channeling the attention? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, very soon I should be dropping a mixtape. Okay. Mix so, um, yeah, that's that's the biggest thing I say I'm working on right now. Mm. Yeah, like, obviously I want to be able to come to Ghana and obviously work with some artists as well just to keep that, you know, that traction going as well. So, yeah, those are the two main things that are going on right now. Okay, um, we are looking forward to that. I mean, we can only applaud you and then also look forward to all of the things that you're going to be serving us with your music. But I would love to know, if you were not doing music, what would we find JB doing? If you weren't a musician, if you didn't venture into music? <laughs> if JB wasn't doing music, I'd probably be, um, I was in school doing um, engineering, so... Oh, I was an aspiring um, aerospace engineer, yeah, yeah. Aerospace engineering. Yeah, yeah. That, okay, that so what? <laughs> but what has happened to that that <laughs> dream now? Um, obviously there wasn't much time to be in in school. I can always go back to it, right? Not, that's not a problem. But uh, there wasn't much time to do it because obviously, like music became very intense after that um mm -hmm. track that blew up. So yeah, yes, yeah, so it's something I can always go back to. You know, right? So, that's not a problem. right. Yeah. And I mean, I am all for, you know, doing everything that you love to do or you want to do wearing many hats because I think that it is possible. So, yes, um, yeah. I mean, I'd love to see a JB musician and aerospace engineer. That's that will be that will be a great thing. Yeah, that will be a great thing. But be before before you take leave of us, JB, can you just wrap us through your first song? If you remember it. Oh, if you remember the lyrics to that, just, you know, rap us through that. Rap you through my first song. I actually don't remember. Your very first song, like the, the song you, you, you know, just wrote the very first time when you decided, or not even professionally, maybe you just wrote it and left it and didn't, you know, push through with it. Oh, you put me on the spot there. Um, there's a song. Okay, I could, I could probably give you one song. Okay. Bissaka. Bissaka. How did Bissaka go? I actually don't remember, you know. It was quite a long time ago. 
Uh, wow. A long time ago. Okay, I mean that's fine. That's okay. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. A long but time ago. The, but yeah. like I, I mentioned, like I mentioned, I mean we are looking forward to you know everything that you have in store, and then also for all of your collaborations, and then your mixtape, and then in the future, you know your feature or your collaboration mm -hmm. with Drake. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of fingers, course. Crossed fingers crossed. For, yeah, fingers crossed <laughs> for fingers that. Crossed. So, yeah, again, thanks for joining us this morning and we'll speak to you again. And also, um, share your socials with us, please. Uh, my social media, so my Instagram is hostarjb. That's H O O D S T A R J B. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on Twitter, it's just a one in front of it. So, one hostarjb. And then, yeah. Okay. All Over right. Else. All right. Do you have anything? All right, do you have anything else to say to, you know, your fans, your growing fan base in Ghana? I just want to say thank you for the love, really, because um, I didn't really expect to receive that kind of traction from Ghana in general. So, mm. yeah. Thank well, you, so you deserve it. I, I believe that Ghanaians see good talent when they see it. And so, yeah, it's only right that you're getting it um, at this time. Now, four years in, it only goes to also say that at the right time, everything falls in place yeah of course of course yeah yeah course. and so yes now this is the right time for us to let you off our hook so thanks for joining us again for the upteen time this morning and we'll catch you again jb thank you uh, see you later thank you for having me all right bye bye all right, guys, so there you watched or heard the conversation with JB. Now, JB has a new one with Jackie, which we also spoke about in our conversation. And so it's Jackie featuring JB Scar. They have the audio and the video out. So if you haven't listened to it, just listen to it. And if that, you know, tickles your fancy to go listen to his other songs, why not do so? This has been on cue. My name, Lenny Lomote, and I'll catch you on another one.